Hey guys, this is the part when I put my FPV gear in. Uh, as I talked about, this is a FT nine five two milliwatt, two hundred milliwatt uh, FPV transmitter, and this is a mini camera. I don't know which brand it is. It's just small. Just picked it up because it's small. So it's pretty straightforward. You just have to connect positive negative and video to video video normally is a white or yellow uh, line so in this case in my transmitter it's yellow this white one is for audio which i'm not gonna use so i'm, I'm gonna cut it out maybe yeah so i'm not gonna use it i just cut it out uh, this one has two black wires. I think one is to connect to the where you're connecting your power and the other one is for the camera. Since I'm powering my camera with the 5 volts out, I'm connecting the same one where I'm connecting the camera just for safety or good image sake. So this can take up to 6s, uh, I don't know if you can see, but 6 to 3 volts. So it's no problem to connect directly to the battery since this is a free S setup. So let's get to it. I'm putting my board on top, where is also my satellite, my transmitter, my receiver. So I'm putting it right beside, right on top of the board. I think I'm gonna put some Velcro, no, so I'm zip ties just to see where I have to put my wires. Um, okay, let's go in there. I'm putting on top just to get everything really clean, a clean build. And if, uh, if I have to open it up to repair something, I can just open up and have a lot of stuff on top of the CC3D okay oh and um in this case this board doesn't have a doesn't have a button to change the channels or the frequency if you want um so you have to do it uh, before you put it here or it will do be a real plane to do it so I've already put my channel on one, so you have to change it here and look from the manual and it will say which channel is which switch and also you can change the, the band in here so that's how you change the channels. Oh yeah, my camera is going to be on this little thing I made on the front, so I'm going to put it there. Yep. And glue it with a hot glue. Some hot glue. I'm gonna give it just a slight tilt up since I'm planning to go slightly fast. And, and I like the small tilt. I don't like to look at the ground. So I'm gonna grab my hot glue and go in. Oh yeah, the nice thing about this type of foam is that it doesn't melt, so you can hot glue it with no problem. This this foam is the um, foam that came out of my board, so I don't know the name of it. I simply know knows know that it came with my knees, so. That's how I get it. So yeah. So my my video wires don't have to be long since my video my my five volts out are right here. So I'm gonna cut them to that length. Maybe leave a little bit of space for error, but I'm gonna cut it. No. Oh 
Oh yeah, and please see what side is up on our camera before you install it. That's important. I've already done that. Because you don't want to install it with a tilt and then you see that you're facing upside down. You're looking upside down. So do that first before anything else. Yeah, and I test if the system is working before I done this. So yeah, everything's working. And I, I recommend to do you to do the same. You don't want to have uh, to restart and take everything out and desolder everything. Yeah, it's up in India, so don't try not to do that. Um, yeah, so let's see these these wires. Um, these are this this is here. So we'll get this out just for now. So this. This red can go anywhere, so I think I'll just anywhere in the positive side. Of course. So I'll, I don't think I'll leave it the length, the length it has. Yeah, I'll I'll solder first the camera. It's not the best way to do it, but. Already has a lot of, of solder in there, so I'm just gonna do it like this. And the negative. Be sure that your wire is in the solder and not just touching it. Have a good solder. Solder. Yeah, maybe I have to put a little bit of solder in it. And I'll leave it in plain. That's a good one. So the camera is powered up. Now I have to connect the wire. Oh yeah, and no, I, I, I disconnected this wire to make it easier, so I have to put it again. Okay. No. Connect the camera. I want to hide all the wires and like loose wires. So I'm gonna try to put it under the CC3D and I say try because I don't know if I can make it. this is a real tiny board. Yeah, maybe it will run up and down. Maybe it'll run yeah. yeah, it'll run up and go down to the camera. I'll cut this wire. Little bit. I'm grabbing some heat shrink so that the connection is not naked. Some sense. So put the sheet shrink on. And I advise you to do the same, never leave a connection open. The signal was not that of a problem, but it can cause some interference. So it's better to be sure. So 
to to be back here again. Yeah, don't be lazy on some con on the connection. Do it right the first time. Try to yeah, like like this so that the, the connection don't go away when you put the solder and you can solder them up. Yeah, I know I'm burning a little bit of the wire but I don't have a, a really small tip so it's a little bit hard now to do that. Yeah, so you can see no. Put a little heat on it to shrink. And it's done. So my video is in. I have to power my FPV board. Right? So, simple negative to negative, positive to positive. So, if I try to put under here. So that is a little bit, but the wire can be a little bit high. First, in there, because I hate, I hate wires. I'll loosen it, and it can give you problems. A lot of wires loosen up can get caught in a crash and snap, and just destroy your connections. So I try to tidy is good in this. If you're not tidy like me, I'm not a tidy person, believe me. So try try your best to do that for the sake of your qual. Everything hooked up. Now let's try to put the tidiest possible. Okay. So I put the wires of the ESCs also behind the PCB. Oh, no. Not behind the the bottom of the board so everything is really uh, snuck up so board goes like this Everything fits real nice. So these are the ESCs. This is, this is to power the board. If you saw the other video, you see that this is opto EC, so you have to have a different power supply to the board. In this case, a five volt power supply. So now you just you just stick this wire up. Simply, okay. yeah, you go tiny, everything wants to. So, you I'll later screw it up a little bit better. Just screw everything up. Well, I'm using fast tracks for this build, 
So I don't have a, 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 a screen to show you because I don't have a receiver that connects to a screen and we have our fat shark goggles. I don't know if I can show you on camera the image of this, but it's pretty good actually. So let's see. So I connect my battery. Has a red light. Now I take my fat shark goggles. Let me see. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it on camera, I don't think so. so. Yeah, you can see I have something in it. I don't know if you can see my finger, but everything's fine. I can see the thing moving. So, yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. Everything here is only video to video, negative to negative, positive to positive. And if you follow that, then you don't have a problem. Uh, the channels, you you change it here, as I said before. And, on the, and to look at it, you change it here in the in case of the fact chart. Goggles. So, yeah, that's it. You want to may maybe your camera can be not out of focus, so you have to try to focus it to infinity and rotate the the lens around uh, until it gets focused. So next video, I'm going to configure the CC 3D on the computer, and that will be the last video. And on that video, I'll also post a five video of it. And that will be it. So it's pretty simple to put to a mini quad. It, it takes less than a day to put one when you have all the parts. So yeah, it's pretty easy to build. Uh, if you like, thumbs up and subscribe for you for more videos. Oh, and if you have any questions, post your ideas, post your questions below. Or if you have any ideas that you want me to talk about, just post them below. Bye.